Hey guys, today I am filming a spring drugstore beauty haul. If you haven't seen my previous haul, I will link it up here. And that was my what's new at the drugstore haul and review. So between that and this video, I have purchased most of the new drugstore products. And this is also going to be a haul and mini review. I just picked up a couple things. My wonderful boyfriend let me pick out some makeup as part of my Valentine's Day gift, which was very sweet because there were a lot of things that I wanted to try. And I have tried everything so far. I'm wearing it all today. And I'm going to do little mini reviews. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing would be CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And I have a first impression of this and the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. That will be up a couple videos after this. So um, stay tuned for that coming up. But I have the shade 810 Classic Ivory. This is the second lightest shade. Can you guys please tell me if you think that my face is like it matches my neck and my chest? Because because I'm really not sure. I did add some bronzer to my neck to blend everything together a little bit more. But can you tell me if you think that this matches okay because I was really concerned about that. I think it matches pretty well. I think it's a little dark but not too noticeable and like I said there's only one shade lighter than this and it was really pink undertone and I'm not pink I'm yellow undertone so I went with this shade and um, I think it did work pretty well and I do like this foundation by the way but you will see more about that in my first impression and then I have the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in Fair. I have been told to pick this up a shade lighter than you think and this for this to be fair this is like kind of dark like, I mean this is my skin tone so for this to be like the fair porcelain powder is pretty crazy so I have I picked this up and I do like this it is not mattifying but it does set your makeup and then I have one eye product and that is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Coal Liner in nude. If you saw my previous What's New at the Drugstore haul and review, which I've already linked up above, I had this eyeliner in black and I didn't like it because it smudged really easily. But when I heard there was a nude one, I had to pick it up because if you guys have heard about the Stila um, Kajal liner in Topaz or the Tarte Emphasize Inner Rim Brightener, you know that's just a nude eyeliner to make your eyes look appear, appear white um, and make you look wide awake and whatever and I have not been able to find any drugstore alternatives to that so this one finally came out and I had to pick it up and I do not set this with an eyeshadow and when this fades it I mean when this fades it fades it doesn't run so this is not a big deal it's not a big deal as black it won't leave marks in your face it will just disappear so that's why I like this I find that this is very opaque and very creamy which is good because you want you want the eyeliner to glide on your waterline you don't want to have to tug on it so I don't know if you'll be able to see this because it is like same color as my skin it's right over there but it's like a peachy nude color and this is only a couple bucks and I really really recommend this to anybody looking for a nude eyeliner to brighten up your eyes and then I also have two lip products the first is the Nivea lip butter and I know Miss Glamorosi talks about these a lot and I and a couple of people I just got the smooth kiss kind which has no scent and no flavor because honestly um i mentioned in a couple other videos of mine i hate scented lip products if it was mint that would be i would love it a lot more if it was mint but it's you know i do not like macadamia and caramel and raspberry lip like flavored lip products so i didn't pick up any of those but i did want to get the clear one and if this had mint it would be awesome like this this works okay. I don't think it's awesome. Um, I wouldn't say run out and get this. I won't repurchase it. I will use it up, but I'm not going to repurchase it. So the next lip product I have is not new, but I wanted to get it anyway. It is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick and Coral Berry, which is a cream finish. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. And I unfortunately missed out on the MAC Betty Bright lipstick, which was like a like a corally um, pink. So I, of course, love that. And I wanted to try it, but I'm not really crazy about satin finishes. And the um, Maybelline Vivid Shocking Coral color looks pretty, but 
I don't like the scent of Maybelline lipstick, so I was just kind of at a loss. But I wanted a similar color, so I went with the Revlon Coral Berry, which is not a dupe for either one of those shades, by the way. It's just in the same color family, and I only have two Super Luscious lipsticks. I have this one and Primrose, and I love them. The formula is amazing, so can you please leave a comment down below of your favorite Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks that are the cream finishes. Cream finish is my favorite. These are my favorite formula, so um, if you have any shade recommendations, please leave them in a comment below because I really wanted to check out more colors, but I like this. I feel like this looks brighter. Um, on. Uh, I feel like the shade from my hand to my mouth looks like different. But I like it. I'm not super crazy about it. I need to work with it more, I think. It's something to just get used to. But I think it's pretty. What do you guys think? I don't know. I like it. And it doesn't make my teeth look super yellow, which is awesome because I tend to have that problem. And then the last thing that I picked up was the Rimmel 60 Second Nail Polish. I think this is this is new to the U.S. You can see it has like the U.K. flag on it. I mean, and, and this is new to the U.S. This cost $1.50. I got it at Walmart. There were not that many colors, but I have the shade Mint Licious, and it's what is on my nails right now. I don't know. I want to, from the bottle to the nails, they look the same, but it's more vibrant on my nails. And I think that this is the perfect color for spring and summer. It is a vibrant neon mint leaning blue. So hopefully you can see this. I don't know, but like, I hope the color is showing up because from what I'm seeing, the color's not showing up that good. So hopefully it is actually on camera. So I love this. It was opaque in two coats. It dried quickly, $1.50. It is a small bottle, but I never have run out of a nail polish and it's $1.50 and it's awesome. And I really love this color. I don't know if I'll pick up any more shades because none of the other ones really intrigued me, but this one again is called Mint Licious and I really love this. So that was it guys. Um, a roundup of all the products that I have purchased recently and I really hope that you guys like this I hope it was helpful and like I said please stay tuned because in a couple videos I will have the first impressions on the CoverGirl foundation and the Revlon nearly naked powder so stay tuned for that and I recommend all the things that I mentioned except for the Nivea lip butters I'm not crazy about them but everything else I, I like and recommend so please rate comment and subscribe and I will talk to you soon bye guys